Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray and in this video on Fred we are looking at configuring Fred to work with the standard Inmove 2 system. So if you've ever fired up my robot lab on a Raspberry Pi uh, you'll be familiar with this screen that we have up at the moment. The uh, fingerprint icon here is for the Inmove system. Before we start the InMove system up though, because Fred is a non-standard build, we need to preload the drivers or the services we need for Fred. I'm actually running this web interface on a Windows computer, but my robot lab is actually running on a Raspberry Pi 4. It has 8 gig of RAM installed in that Raspberry Pi 4 and it's running the Buster 32-bit version of the OS. I have Java 11 installed as per some demo videos I've already put up and I'll try and put a link to some of those in the description. So I'm going to go to the runtime tab here and in here I'm going to start the very first service we need which is the Rust Pi service. Now there is currently a bug in the Raspberry Pi service which hasn't shown up this time round. In previous runs it doesn't always come up with the Raspberry Pi or type or what's on the bus. Pressing F5 if it doesn't come up will bring it up along with all of the pins. In my build of Fred, if you've followed along on the video series, you'll know I have put a I2C multiplexer on his back. So we're going to go to runtime, we'll call it the I2C Max. The service type is I2C Max. We'll start that service, we'll go to the I2C Max service. <coughs> now because the PCA9685 uses address 0x70 as a broadcast address, we can't use that for our I2C Max. So during the build of the I2C Max setup, I changed this address to 71. So we'll select 71. On the Raspberry Pi, the I2C bus is on bus one. There is a secondary I2C bus that's used by the Raspberry Pi, but that's for the IDEE prom for the Raspberry Pi hats and is recommended we don't touch it. So we always use bus one and for our controller we will select the Raspberry Pi. Noiseless Rosie and attach. So that's now attached and running. One of the first things we're going to do is start up Fred's head when we start up the My Robot Lab. So we're going to need the I I2C based PCA9685 that he has mounted in his head. Uh, for reference, we also have one on his back which controls his shoulders. And we have one on his left hand. Eventually, I will also have one on his right hand. So let's... Um, Move over into the runtime and we will create a PCA head. Now this one is a Adafruit 16C survey driver. So we'll start that service and you'll see it appear here. Now this is where things get interesting. For this one, we're going to use the I2C Max. It is going to be on bus 0 and address 40, and we will attach. We go back to runtime. PCA back. Again, it's an Adafruit. Start that service. Now, in this case, 
because I had it originally on a single bus architecture before I installed the Malt I2C Max, this one was configured for 41. It is on bus one at this stage, so we will attach. And the I2C controller is I2C Max. And our last one that I'm going to put on here for the moment is piece the A. This is for the left hand. Go to that one. This is on 40. It's on bus 3. And on the I2C Max. So we can attach. Now if we go back to the I2C Max, you'll see those three things are now attached and the bus number that they're using and what their addresses are. We also have hanging off this same bus um, the MPU 6050 in his head and an MPU 6050 in his palm. There's also two ADC11, oh, sorry, ADS. 1115 chips located in his hand for the analog inputs. I haven't actually found where analog inputs or even initial measurements are used within the Inmove 2 system, so at this stage I'm not going to start them up. If there's any other devices that you've added in that are not part of the standard uh, Inmove setup using the Nervo boards, you would all start them up at this stage. Now once you have got all of this stuff started up we're going to go back to runtime and we're going to save the config. So at the moment I've got default and I'm going to uh, create a new entry called bear. I haven't started up anything else. and we will save that. Now here's the thing, because that's the last one I created, it will auto start bare bones. So if I shut down my robot lab, when I start it back up, it will automatically start up the Raspberry Pi service, the I2C MUX service, and the three uh, PCA 9685s I have installed. Anything we want starting up, by default we're going to put into that service and we need to do all of that before we go to intro and start up the InMove service. Now just a, a word of warning when you do start up the InMove service by clicking on that it is going to take quite some time to get up and running so click on that button go make yourself a cuppa come back and hopefully it will be up and running. When it does get up and running, it will automatically switch over to the IO1 uh, service, which you can see it started, but it hasn't finished starting everything. When it does finish starting everything, it will appear here, and it it's a long way of finishing that. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you heard that in the background, but it did say in move initialize. And here we go. So, yeah, this does take some time, particularly the first time you start up the in move service. Subsequent startups are a lot faster because it's copied all of the files to where they need to be for it to run. All right, so this is only going to be a short video. This gets us to this point and as far as I'm going to go today I will do another video for next week covering starting up the brain and starting up the head to make sure you don't miss out on that video don't forget to click on like subscribe and ring that notification bell that way you're notified whenever I release a video it also helps such a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to help the channel out further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my patrons, VIPs go Lucky Lawrence Burger, and my builder patron, 
Elmorales45. My patrons also provide inspiration on what they would like to see on the channel from time to time. Uh, one of my VIP patrons has asked about how to configure Fred to work with the Move 2. I also have a Discord channel uh, and my Robot Lab also has a Discord channel. I will put links to those in the description. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop into either of those discords and ask away and we'll do our best to answer them. And we'll see you in the next video.